Okay, for me. Hi. <laughs> What's your name, by the way? Esteve. Esteve? Esteve, yeah. Esteve, my name is Oscar. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So we like met uh, like 30 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> and we decided to take like a shortcut and uh, we yeah. went through these branches. <laughs> it was not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I fell down like four times, but uh, at least we finally found the track. <laughs> so yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Nice way to meet someone. <laughs> yeah, really nice. <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot of condensation. Yeah, yeah. It's day number 34 and it's time for a quick update. So I'll be finishing in two days on Monday. So I have just two and a half full days out on the trail. It's morning right now. So yeah, about two and a half days left. I still have about 100 kilometers to go. So I'm planning on doing like 40 today, 40 tomorrow. And on Monday when I'll be finishing, I'll be doing only 20 because at 7 p.m. I have a I have to catch a train to another city to get back to Barcelona and to catch my flight. So yeah, I just want to chill on Monday and end a bit early, you know. So up until yesterday, the weather was still very hot, about 30 degrees during the day. And it was hard to do these ascents, man. But uh, yesterday, like midday in about one hour, temperature dropped to about 20 degrees. Everything became kind of foggy and in the night it also started raining. So I guess I'm approaching the Western Pyrenees, which everyone told me will be very foggy, rainy, a lot of sheep, a lot of cow, horses and so on. And you know, that's true, that's true. There are a lot of uh, animals around here. And it's, in my opinion, pretty sight. It's very different to the other Pyrenees. I guess not that much different, but it is a bit different. I think this region has like some Scottish vibes, you know, <laughs> these grassy hills. I think you probably won't be able to see that on the camera. But there's the Atlantic Ocean. I can finally see it. That's the first time on the GR11 when I'm seeing the Atlantic Ocean. It's nice to finally see the end. I'll be there in two days and it's roughly like 70 kilometers away. definitely getting harder to find good campsites here but uh, yeah yesterday I managed to find a spot right next to a road which was like good grass similar to what you see here but uh, there are these ferns everywhere and the, it's, the ground isn't like really usable unless uh, unless it's inhabited by cows or sheep and they like cut it down eat it down and uh, only then you can pitch up your tent and that meant that I had to had to basically share my 
camping spot with cows so yeah I woke up a few times during the night but uh, overall it was pretty good Tonight for dinner I'm having cheese pasta, just like I do every night. But this night is special because this is my last night. So instead I'll be having two of these. <laughs> Honestly I need a lot of calories because I've been walking very lot these last few days. So yeah, can't wait for that. I've officially walked from the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic Ocean across the Pyrenees and it feels good. <laughs> it feels great actually. I've finished the full trail in 36 days and you know when you're walking so for so long your life like changes for a bit at least for those 36 days. You know you're focusing only on the most essential things like where you're going to sleep, what you're going to drink, like uh, what the weather is going to be like, where you need to go, and so on. And I think it's very valuable to have this experience because it uh, makes you think about like what's really important for you in life. Is it really like to get a good house or something or is it like uh, other things? You know, for every people it's different obviously, but one thing that has changed is that I've grown a bit of facial hair. <laughs> I've never had uh, a beard this long before, so it's a new experience for me. Um, I've lost a few kilograms on my belly, on my arms, on my legs. I'm getting a bit skinnier. <laughs> before ending here, I, w I went through Irun, and you know, it's a pretty large city, and I realized that I really, really, really dislike large cities now. Like I did, I did not like them before, but now I absolutely hate them. Honestly, like there was, there were so many noises, so many people. Uh, you know, when you're out, when you're out hiking or when you're in smaller towns, you meet someone, you say hi, you like smile to them, you have a little chat sometimes. You know. Anyway, if you're thinking about doing the GR11 or the HRP or the GR10, which all basically start and end at the same point, just go on slightly different routes through the Pyrenees, you definitely should do that because uh, these trails are really, really amazing. You get to see a lot of the higher Pyrenees and they're very wild, you know. When you're out there, you can't really see any cities even private property at some points yeah i'm very glad that i finally finished this trail and thank you all for following me for watching my videos for watching this video and i'll see you in my next through hike or my next video thanks and bye